Do you know that today is National Encourage a Young Writer Day? Do you know a young person who loves to tell stories or has an amazing imagination or reads loads of books? This can be a sign of an amazing young writer. We wanted to use today to talk to them about their hopes and dreams and real ways of how they can enhance their writing. We've got amazing author Pippa Goodhart here to chat about these skills. Pippa has written so many children's books, including Best Test, Fair Shares, and most recently Stop the Clock. Let's see what advice she has to give. How did you get into the world of picture books? I was a child who found learning to read very hard. So I loved picture books as a child because I could read the pictures. Um, and you discover so much more when you look and look and look at pictures. So um, I was very fond of picture books then. Uh, I became a bookseller and picture books are fun to display, <laughs> make window displays on. And then as a writer, to be able to work with an illustrator to show and tell a story at the same time just adds richness. And, and of course, you're aiming for that young audience of small children who are so open to ideas and fun. So, um, yeah, it's a treat to do a picture book. What do you enjoy most about being a children's author? There are so many different aspects to being an author. Uh, well, I would say children are the best audience because they are honest and open to new ideas, ready to play with ideas. If they're bored, they will just put the book down. So they're a very honest um, and fun audience to write for. So I think the best bit actually is um, once the book is produced and given to a child and you see the reaction. And if they love it, then nothing is more pleasing. <laughs> That's the best bit. Do you have any advice to inspire or encourage young writers? The main advice that I expect everybody gives is read and read and read and read and read um, and read critically. So when you've read something, have a bit of a think about it. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, work out why you enjoyed it. Was it fresh? Was it funny? Did it uh, move you? Did it make you cry? You know, if, if it makes you have feelings, that is powerful writing. If it was boring, dull, too many long descriptions, something you've read before that you, you knew exactly what was going to happen so it was predictable, you didn't believe in the characters, then that realise that and then that informs your own writing. Um, but when it comes to your own writing, write what excites you uh, and play with it. Experiment. Try it this way. Try it that way. Not necessarily within school, out of school <laughs> or, or you know, in your own time, you are free to try things out. And that way you might surprise yourself and find that it works better a way you hadn't thought it would.